Hi, today we are going to design an organic shaped clay cutter in Blender. We start with deleting those two objects here. Then we go to the scene properties. We click unit scale, change it to 0 0.001 and change the length from meters to millimeters. Okay, then we click Z, it is a top view. Then we click Shift and A, and we choose Grease Pencil from the menu, and we choose Blank. Then we go to Draw Mode here. Okay, we change the radius to 0.4 millimeters. And there are some advanced options here. It's advanced and stroke. So let's go to advanced, change active smooth to the max. Let's go here to stroke, click stabilize stroke as well. Then you can draw your shape. Let's make it maybe like this. We go to object mode. You click right click of the mouse on your shape and you convert it to mesh. As you can see, the lines are not joined perfectly together, so we have to fix it. You can zoom in. We go to edit mode and we click on this one. We click X as for delete and we delete the vertices. This one as well. We can repeat and maybe this one as well. Okay, now when we have it deleted, we have to click on this one and by holding shift, we click this one as well and we click F on our keyboard. Then we can mark some of them, maybe it's this selection here. We mark it, we click vertex and smooth vertices, maybe once more smooth vertices again, perfect. Then we can zoom out, we can click A, vertex, smooth vertex again, and here you can see there is this menu that you can uh, adjust the level of smoothness. Thanks for watching so far. If you are enjoying the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Perfect. Then we go to object mode again. Yeah, and we click Ctrl plus A. We click scale. It's very important to do it. Then we click N. And you have this panel here for transformation and dimensions. So we can change the dimensions of our cutter. Here are the dimensions. You can click S. And with scale, you can make it bigger or smaller. Let's see, 25 millimeters is quite good. All right, then again, we click Ctrl A and scale. We go to the edit mode. You mark all of the shapes. So just click A, then you click F, and then you click I. Just make the shape smaller with your mouse and click whenever, then go here to this panel and change thickness to 1.6 millimeters. Then come back here, don't click anything, just click I on the keyboard again, make another one, make thickness 0 0.6 and again come here, click I on keyboard and 0 0.4 millimeters. Perfect. This is our shape with our offsets. One is for blade. We go to object mode. And we will use shift plus D for copying the shape. You click shift and D and you copy the shape. Okay, you can see it's here. So you can change it, change the name to, let's say, 0.4 as a name. Again, come here, Shift and D again, another copy, 
6 and again click here shift plus D and we will name it outer for instance perfect okay so now we have three shapes here we can you can hide all of them just leave the outer for now okay we go to the edit mode and now what we have to do is we have to get rid of the rest of the unnecessary stuff here because now we will leave just the outer line uh, and the rest will be deleted here be sure just one remark be sure that you are in a face mode select so the third icon here in edit mode now you click alt and this edge here and holding shift you click another one here so the smaller one and then you click x for delete and you click faces then you click this one the big one here and also x delete faces so now we are left with this outer shape here the rest is deleted so it's okay so then you come here you hide it and let's make 0 0.6 visible okay we click on the object object mode maybe again we click it so we have to activate it click and then we go to edit mode and we repeat it but we will leave this one now so we'll we use alt we click here holding shift click here x delete faces click here x delete faces very good and we hide it we go to 0 0.4 we'll do it again so you have to maybe come back to object mode click click it go back to edit again and holding alt we click here with shift holding shift as well we click here x delete faces click here x delete faces perfect now when we are in edit mode we click a then we click e for extrude and we extrude it here let's make it 14 millimeters this is our blade we hide it let's go now to 0 0.6 again in edit mode we have to click a maybe we'll in object mode click it we go back to the edit mode yes we click a and e for extrude make it 10 millimeters perfect then we hide it again let's go to the outer one again we repeat it so let's click it this is it let's go to edit mode click a then e for extrude let's make it two millimeters then we click 0 0.4 0 0.6 to be visible and we have the shape yeah it's perfect this is our shape of our cutter so before exporting it we go to object mode we click uh, outer 0 0.6 0 0.4 right click with the mouse and join perfect it is one shape now it looks very good so we'll give it a try in the printer we export it into STO and you can print it and that's it thank you very much thank you for watching bye bye